Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kansala University. My, st my name still remains a man from Kansala University, and I, like I always tell you, I'm the best at what I do. Today, we're going to be looking at an aspect of marketing which a lot of small businesses have not realized how powerful this aspect of marketing is, but a lot of big organizations are actually deploying it to get the best out of the organization. Let me ask you a simple question. Have you ever gone to um, a big shopping mall? Have you noticed that when you go into a big shopping mall, they are normally they are playing a cool music? Now, what you fail to realize is that we move to the tune of a music, meaning that you tend to move faster when the music is fast paced. But when a music is slow paced, you tend to adjust your movement to the pace of the music. Now, what sensory marketing means is that, for instance, the sound marketing. What sound marketing does for big organizations is that when they realize that they have a very big shopping mall, for instance, they need customers to spend as much time as possible at each of the stalls, at each of the stands. Now, what they do now is they start to play slow music. Now, what that slow music does to you is that as you are moving, it slows down your pace and gives you time to look at more products on the shelves. Another part of sound marketing is um, if you have worked into most banks, for instance, you will notice that in, in the security, security door, as you're entering the security door, you notice a cool music that is playing inside the security door. Now, what that music tends to do to you is that it tends to, because most people rush into a bank, when you are within that security door, as the door is about to close, because the, the music is slow paced, it tends to cool you down and slow you down. Now, another form of sensory, um, sensory marketing is um, scent marketing. A lot of time you might go to a very wonderful eatery, and as you're opening the door, you perceive a wonderful aroma. And to you, you are very sure that this will have a delicious meal. And as you enter there and you order for your meal, you find out that the meal is not as tasty as the aroma you perceive. What you are simply being used to market on is what is called aroma marketing. Now you notice it in a lot of big shopping malls, sometimes like um, a lot, in maybe areas like ShopRite. You notice that once you are moving towards the food section, you are perceiving a wonderful aroma. Well, that is actually aroma marketing. That has nothing to do with the food there. But what that does to you is that, assuming you are walking into an E3 and all you intended to buy was um, maybe just water. But because of the wonderful aroma you are perceiving, what do you think you will do? The aroma will stimulate your appetite and make you want to order for food. The same also in those big shopping malls. So that when you are moving towards them and you see the you, you perceive the wonderful aroma, suddenly you start to think of food and something that was not initially on your agenda, you start to think of okay, how what do I order? Meaning that you end up buying food that was not part of your initial budget. That is part of sensory marketing. Small organizations like yours need to start to de deploy the power of sensory marketing. You need to understand that color, for instance, plays a huge role in the kind of customers that come to your organization. For instance, certain colors like, um, just think for instance, randomly, all the very big fast food, you notice something unique about them, that all of them have a tinge of red, a bit of um, lemon green, certain aspect of yellow, now, how is it that almost all the big fast food have this just few selection of colors in their building? It's because it's been found out that these colors are colors that once you see them, make you start to think of food. Meaning that when you're around the fast food joints, even if you're not hungry and you just see these colors, these colors remind you of food. And the point I'm getting at is that as a small business owner, you need to start to take sensory marketing as a critical tool that you must deploy in your business. It means that when you want to paint your office, for instance, you don't randomly pick, just pick up any colors and spray it across your office. Hospitals are white. At most hospitals are painted white because white signifies purity and conveys a message of purity and health. That is why when a sick person goes into a hospital and sees the white environment, he or she perceives that this is an environment where I want to be healed. For you also in your business, you need to do a color research. Find out the meaning of colors and how they relate to your own business. Because I can tell you that you've been losing a lot of sales 
majorly because of the color you use to paint your office, your shop, or your place of doing business. And you also need to understand the power of aroma marketing. If you are in a place where you are selling consumables, it's very important you deliver, you deploy aroma marketing, whereby there's a, a, a puff a, of wonderful smelling perfume that gives an aroma that this is a wonderful place to be. Sensory marketing is very, very important. The other also one is um, visual marketing. Visual marketing has actually to do with the arrangement of things in your, in your, your shop. For instance, one of the things I normally advise, advise my pharmacy owners, my, our clients, pharmacy owners' clients is, make sure that your pay points, where your customers come to pay, make payment, are loaded up with small, appealing, appetizing consumables that these are things that are not normally in the budget of your, of your um, customer. But when they have finished their, their marketing round, they finish shopping and they come to the cashier to pay. As they are paying, their eye is just looking in front of the cashier and because you have all these things strategically placed, you find them also making more sales at the point of checking out. You need to understand that sensory marketing is a powerful tool in helping you get across your message. Visual marketing, which is a part of sensory marketing, is a, one of the most critical part of marketing. In fact, most social media platforms have discovered that posts, adverts that have pictures, tend to generate 50% more traffic, more audience to it, than posts that have no pictures. It has also been shown that posts that have videos tend to also generate more traffic than posts that do not have videos. This is part of sensory marketing. It's important for you, as you are trying to engage your customers, look at how you must deploy all this sensory marketing. The marketing tool of sight. The marketing tool of taste. Now you might tell you in taste, how does that come, come into play? You will discover that there are certain places you go and small bits of samples are given to you. Now these are normally used um, a lot of um, baby food companies do this. They produce small packets of their products and they go to hospitals where nurses are attending to nursing mothers and they give out these samples, these products as samples. Now because they've given out these products as small such as a sample and the mothers go home and taste it, the mothers like the taste and they will be made to come back to ask for more. All these are sensory marketing. So, as you go back into your business, I want you to look at how do you deploy the power of colors in marketing your business. Look at the color of your business, do a small online search and find out if your colors rhymes with what drives customers to your kind of business. Look at um, the area of smell. Ask yourself what kind of perfume or what kind of aroma do you need to use to surround your business such that once people come into it, they tend to feel that this is a place to be in. And what order, um, how do you need to arrange your office? So that once people come into your office, the look and the arrangement of office conveys confidence in your ability to solve their problem. Sensory marketing is a new field of marketing, which for now, majorly the big players are using in their business to grow their, grow their business. But you too can actually deploy that in growing your own business. Sensory marketing is a key critical tool that and it's very easy to deploy. For instance, it won't take you so much to just arrange the product of in your plate, in your office, especially at the high level of your customers. Now, arrangement which is, has to do with site marketing, it has been shown that products at the high level of customers tend to sell more than products below their high level. Because once, when they walk into any organization, they look normally concentrate on products that are normally at the high level. It means that if you want any product to sell faster, you need to arrange it at the high level of your customers. You must do something about this form of marketing. It's time for you to start to transform your business with the powerful tool of sensory marketing. Cancelon University is there to help you to transform your business using these basic tools. We're also there to teach you some of the things that you need to do to deploy these tools effectively. Because it's one thing to know that this thing will help my business, the next thing is also know how, knowing how to deploy it effectively. 
Let me give you another instance why it's important you need to understand how to deploy effectively. Many of us know the popular um, antiseptic called um, ISA. A lot of people fail to realize that because this product has been used so much in hospitals, people have come to re relate the smell of that product with sickness. Now, if you are running a school, for instance, and you are using that to clean most areas of your school, most part of your school, yes, it's a very good antiseptic. But then when parents come in and they perceive that odor, what do you think will come into their mind? This is a place where sickness will abound, and they won't want to put their children in your setting. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't use ISA because yes, we run a school and we also use um, ISA. But what we have done is that we use it to clean certain parts, especially the toilet, but we make sure that we use a powerful perfume, a powerful um, deodorant to match the take the smell of that ISA in our toilet. So that once anybody goes into a toilet, there's a pleasant smell there that makes you want to stay longer and relax and eat yourself. The same applies to your business. Learn how to use these things to, your, to transform your business. My name once again is Emen Nefai from Kansala University. Our goal is to help businesses like yours to become profitable and sustainable. And we've just taught you about sensory marketing. We hope that you register with on our program on our page so that we can actually help you make your business profitable and sustainable. For those of you also want to reach us, you can contact us so contact us on 080-2362-2171. Thank you for listening to us today and watching this program and God bless you.